how to do the Rockport walking test. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up an area where you can safely walk for one mile straight without interruption. So think no street crossings if possible. Um, ideally, this could be in a neighborhood, it could be on a treadmill or a track. You're gonna start with an active warm up, some sort of like heel sweeps, kind of coming in and freeing up the back of the legs, stretching out the front of the legs. You can do a walk quad stretch back and forth and then freeing up into the side of the legs where we call these Frankensteins or a couple of other things. So that way, when you start that walk test, you're gonna be walking as fast as you can maintain that pace for one mile. So you really wanna push it. This is gonna be a max test. So do this safely. Your doctor needs to clear you for something like this. When you're done with the test and you hit your one mile mark, you wanna immediately take your pulse. So what that could be is looking at your watch and getting the pulse right away, or you're gonna flip your wrist over on the thumb side of the wrist. You're gonna put two fingers down and you're gonna palpate a beat. And so that you're gonna count. So you're gonna have a timer on your watch or a timer on your phone, and you're gonna count for 15 seconds, how many beats, you times that by four, and that's gonna be the pulse that you record. Once you're finished, congratulate yourself for finishing, which is awesome, that was hard work. And you're gonna document all of these numbers. So what that's gonna look like is in the link in the description, you're gonna document your age, your gender, your weight, and what that pulse was, and you're gonna be able to look up what is your score. This is what you're gonna to wanna to document so you can start to track that VO2 progress.